Shadowkeep now releases on October 1st, as Bungie pushed it back a bit to make sure things are polished and ready to go for the next installment in the franchise. So in a recent blog post that detailed some of this info, it will come out on October 1st, Moments of Triumph will be extended an extra month so you can go in and get that title, things like that, and the new raid is going to be called Garden of Salvation. Today we're going to talk about the history of the Black Garden, what may be going on here now in Shadowkeep, and much more. There's something extremely dark down below. I think we found the Black Garden's heart. The Black Garden is one of the most mysterious places in the Destiny universe. From being connected to the darkness with the Black Heart to the gardeners that have worshipped it for years now, the Guardians have always wondered how this place came to be and why it exists in the first place. A warlock by the name of Pujari had an interesting explanation of what manifested the garden into existence. Here's a little paragraph. The Traveler moved across the face of the Iron World. It opened the earth and stitched shut the sky. It made life possible. In these things, there is always symmetry. Do you understand? This is not the beginning, but it is the reason. The garden grows in both directions. It grows into tomorrow and yesterday. The red flowers bloom forever. There are gardeners now. They came into the garden in vessels of bronze and they move through the groves in rivers of thought. So with this sort of vision from Pujari, he basically drowned himself near the shores of time or in the shores of time on Venus to experience this vision. The Traveler, when it moved across the Iron World, may have caused the Garden to exist. Now, as he mentions, it didn't create it, but its actions may have had something to do with it, and that's the reason the Garden sort of sprung up or reacted in the first place. Also, the Gardeners, or the Vex, tend to the Garden, hence why the Soul Progeny defends the Black Heart in the first place, the thing that once corrupted this Garden many years ago. So the garden itself was originally locked in a separate plane by the Vex, which we can see throughout the story. Where are we? If this is the Black Garden, it's not on any map of known space and time. I guess we just keep going? After destroying the heart at the end of the Vanilla Campaign, the Garden became anchored to Mars and could be accessed by the Tharsis Junction Tunnels in a Taken King mission. Now, Just a cool little side note, when developing the game, the original location to get into the Black Garden was going to be in these tunnels down below, but they later made that giant Vex gate in the Valley of Kings and decided to use this sort of tunnel thing later in the Taken King. Really, really neat elements to it, but it just wasn't as, uh, as cool of a feature. Um, as it could have been. During the events of Destiny 2, we have a couple of lore entries involving the Black Garden and also some hidden little secret dialogue lines from our ghost. One of these lore entries though explains that the Cabal destroyed the initial gate near the Valley of Kings on Mars, and also other cards for example where we learn of a tale of Aldrin and another Awoken entering the Garden undercover. Let's take a look at all this information more in depth. So in the book The Forsaken Prince, we see Aldrin and another Awoken, Jalion, hopefully I said that right, entering the Black Garden. They first begin on Mars witnessing a firefight between Vex and Cabal outside the gate. Sneaking around, Aldrin then spots a Vex gate lord warping into existence, and this will be his key, just like it was hours later on, to enter the garden itself in the Valley of Kings. When the two entered, they were amazed by the life in the Black Garden. Everything grew, and it was all quite strange. After stumbling around for a bit, they found yet another site of a battle between Cabal warriors and the Vex that were still stationed here in the Black Garden, trying to protect it. After tracking down some of the Cabal oil from a wounded soldier, he interrogated one Cabal who was seriously injured. Here, this Cabal told Aldrin that the Vex had abducted them and the Garden would sort of convert them into madness, growing these seeds in their bodies like the texture of a strawberry. 
Then Aldrin and his awoken friend pick some of the flowers in the garden for Mara and then return to the reef. Cool little side note by the way, you can actually find these in the Dreaming City and get some ghost dialogue about them. So when Aldrin returned, Mara asked him about the garden and if he's seen the heart. Whatever the heart of that place is, he says, pacing, it's a seed, I think. A seed left behind to grow, like a a node of glimmer, or the idea strikes him as a thunderbolt, or a tripwire, bait to attract those who seek out to destroy what they don't understand. Bait for guardians, bait to mark some milestone in the traveler's recovery. So with all of this information, why are we heading back here in Shadowkeep for the new raid titled Garden of Salvation? Now me personally, I'm quite happy to be going back here because the mystery and beauty that grows in this garden is so mysterious, but why? Let's next dive into a couple of theories. In the Shadowkeep trailer, we see some of the shots of the garden itself. First, a giant gate under the surface of the moon, which may or may not be the new entrance, and then a weird looking darkness thing with tentacles emerging from the garden itself. In Destiny 2, we have a scannable on Nessus that says this. A conflux that's directly connected to Mars. The Vex there are having a heck of a time with the Red Legion, it seems like. Garden gate gone. Bay lost. Bastion fallen. Huh. So not sure if this is the same garden we went into or are going to go into in Shadowkeep or not, but it's interesting to think about. Is this the one we went to on Mars or is it someplace else? If I'm reading this right, there are other gardens, like Black Garden Gardens. I couldn't tell if they were being built or were already destroyed. What does it mean? Now, as Aldrin stated from his theory on the heart, he thinks it was some kind of trap, a tripwire for the Guardians to destroy the heart and advance a milestone for the Traveler, or bait to destroy the seed planted there that wants to grow. With all of these questions, who or what is now in control of the Black Garden? Is it the Darkness? The Vex? Maybe even Savathun and Quoria? From the images we've seen so far, there isn't too much to judge by. We know it's called Garden of Salvation and that's pretty much it. Now salvation itself means act of saving or protecting from harm and also the state of being saved, so the Garden of Saving or Protecting Something. Are the Vex still as heavily involved as they were before, protecting this place for years now? We do know that the next season is called Season of the Undying and will involve some more Vex tales, but would this new raid be Vex focused when everything is all hive or darkness infused on the moon? And also as mentioned before, we see these images of these tentacle type things that could be taken, could be part darkness, no clue what it is yet. But in my opinion, either something is taken or built from the same stuff that the heart may have been, perhaps even that darkness, and uh, yeah. So all of this brings us to our next speculation involving Savathun and Quoria Blade Transform. When we think of this new season and all the Hive content on the moon, this could tie perfectly with Savathun, who is of course Hive, and her assistant servant Quoria, who is a Vex and partially taken. Has Savathun set up on the moon and invaded the Black Garden with Quoria? And if so, why? Now of course this isn't confirmed, but in the Books of Sar, we see Savathun doesn't like the decision of having to use their worms to survive. I don't have a strict proof yet, you know. Savathun strokes the void with one long claw and space-time groans beneath her touch. This thing we believe, that we're liberating the universe by devouring it, that we're cutting out the rot, that we're on course to join the final shape. I haven't found a strict, eternal proof. We might yet be wrong. So under Savathun's control, perhaps Quoria is now here in the Black Garden trying to find a new way for the Hive to survive, possibly through darkness or maybe even something else that Savathun has discovered. We know from reading Truth to Power and all the backstory involving Forsaken that Savathun's plan was to try and keep this curse in the Dreaming City going and learn more about the Awoken's distributary. 
If Sabathun were able to get her claws on something like that for herself, they would be able to create all these different types of weapons in there, time moves way faster and things are much different, and that would be a total disaster. So is Savathun trying to not use these worms anymore like they made that pact so long ago? They've been killing and killing and killing for centuries and years now, and maybe she wants to do something different. She may not want to rely on strictly this worm anymore, and Quiria could be the key to doing so. We say that the Black Garden is the birthplace of the Vex. But it was not the beginning. It was the reason. The life in the garden called out a question. The Vex are the answer. They will do anything to protect the garden. In these things, there is symmetry. The gateways have opened. The Vex are coming. In the trailer images, we also see something weird going on in the skybox, what looks like either a planet or a traveler in the distance. Now I have no explanation for this yet, but wanted to share it, could be just a skybox kind of like we see in some of the um, unknown space locations with the planets, things like that. If this place was anchored to Mars after we destroyed the heart, and this is the same one that we were in on Mars, what's going on here? From leaked dialogue around Destiny 2's launch, there were many places it seemed that Bungie wanted to sort of reboot for the 2017 release. Things like heading back to Mars, Old Russia, the Moon, and even the Black Garden. Now the reason we know this is because these lines were updated. They mentioned things like the Red Legion prisons on the moon, and things like that that would have connected to the Red Legion store we had when Destiny 2 launched, right? So some of those lines about the Black Garden don't give up too much, but it's basically the faction leaders talking about how the Black Garden was so mysterious, and if you find anything else there on your travels, be sure to let them know. In the same audio files, we hear a line from Lakshmi that says, Gaul is gone, but the hunt for Tenebra has only begun. Now, the only reason I bring this up is because I was recording gameplay for the Black Garden for this video, and I looked at the Taken King mission where you can enter the garden through the tunnels beneath Mars, and it was called Tenebris Tunnels, which means dark, shadowy, or obscure. Again, all of that speculation, but thought it would be cool to share. But Guardians, that's all I got for today's video on the Black Garden. A lot of mystery involving all of this stuff. Hopefully we'll hear some more soon as the expansion comes out in, what, you know, less than two months now. And things are definitely going to start getting crazy. If you'd like to see some more awesome videos just like this one, be sure to let me know down below. And also give me some topics involving Shadowkeep that you'd like to learn more about. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you Guardians in the next one. Thank you.